All right, fellas, ladies, kids, we are on day 25. You have completed another block of these exercises. So give yourself a big round of applause and know that you're almost there. You have five days left and hopefully you've started to see some changes in your rear end. As I am videoing this, you're doing your cardio, right? And day 21, cardio 22, cardio 23, cardio 24 while I'm talking. Good. And then cardio, because then we're going to wrap it up with day 25. When I started this challenge, I actually had been doing a lot of yoga, not a lot of Pilates, because I was doing some more teacher training work, had to focus on yoga, found that my rear end kind of got a little sleepy and lazy. Yoga is very hard on the quads sometimes, but really not um, always so active in the tush in ways that Pilates is. I'm also certified in that. So I found this challenge for myself and then decided to invite you guys to come along with me. So obviously I'm filming days ahead of you guys, but at the same time I'm working with you guys. So yesterday I did day 12, because today is the 13th that I'm filming on. And day 12, you know, we're not quite halfway through the challenge, but already I've started to see some differences in my rear end. Um, that are taking me back to my rear end from before um, yoga teacher training and nothing but yoga. So that's good. And that's without pushing heavy weights around or anything else. I've been kind of just focusing on this challenge and Pilates and aerial yoga and started doing a little bit of running with my daughter, but not enough to actually account for any of this because it's been very minor. Anyway, I'm done rambling. I'm just sharing with you as a trainer that we go through the same stages and things too. Sometimes things fall apart for us a little bit and we have to get it back. So, you know, you don't have to take any pictures yet of your aftershot, but just start to notice if your pants are feeling a little different, ladies, you know, in your underwear it might start fitting a little differently. That's all a good thing. So, you know, use that as motivation. You know, oftentimes people will pick out an outfit they want to fit into, but when you're in a fitness journey, especially if you've made some progress, it's also important to look at where you've been and see how far you've come. Because when we're just looking at what you have still yet to go, you often um, get really frustrated and discouraged. And God, I still have 20 miles. I don't, oh my gosh, you know, like this trip's forever. I still have 20 miles to go. You've forgotten the 480 that you've already accomplished. Would you stop right there on your trip and turn around and go back home because you still have 20 miles to go? No, you would remember, well, we've already come this far, we might as well complete the journey. So, while it's important to have maybe a gold swimsuit or a gold pair of jeans or a gold number on a scale, which I don't recommend, but anyway, it's also important to look at where you've come to see maybe what old jeans you used to fit in or, you know, look at your before picture. And then maybe you don't even take a picture, but you put on that same pair of pants or underwear and go, oh, okay, there's a little bit of a difference going on here. Keep going strong. I got this. So it's just a reminder right now for you to, you know, you got five days left and it's getting hard. I know these are progressively getting harder and more intense. That's, there's a reason for that. So just keep at it, okay, you guys? You've got this. And know that when this 30 days is over, your journey is not over. Your body is a machine that needs tended for every single day in some way. Not always with high intensity. Sometimes you race the Maserati and sometimes the Maserati needs to be garaged and washed and waxed. And sometimes the Maserati needs to go to the mechanic and get a tune-up. So I like cars, can you tell? So I want you to think about your body in the same way. Taking care of your body doesn't mean you're always beating the crap out of it. It means you're taking care of it like a well-oiled machine and miracle that it is. So know that when this 30 days is over, it is not over for you taking care of your body. All right, so start thinking about now in the next five days, what are you going to next implement for the next 30 days? And just start looking at your fitness journey for the next 30 days. I keep a calendar printout and I write every month what my workout goals are and I keep that paper around where I see it often and I can check off what I actually accomplished and what I didn't. And then at the end of the month, I reevaluate what I worked or didn't work for me. Okay, so I'm gonna be done preaching because I probably should be blogging about all this instead. My web guys are gonna be like, Jamie, instead of saying all that in one video, 
you should be blogging about that. So I will, okay, remind me, especially if you heard something right there that you want to see again or in more detail, say, hey, Jamie, can you blog about that part? I wanna hear more and I'll be glad to put that on my blogging schedule, okay? So let's go along with day 25. Sorry, I'm just sharing from the heart about all that needed said. We're gonna go with, I can't remember now, because okay, I do remember it. Side lunge to warrior three holds again. Remember doing those at the end of the bar series or the bar block? We're gonna revisit them, all right? So that warrior three hold. So you're gonna do your side lunges, 25, okay? And again, I would, for this particular one, recommend that you do them to one side. Remember, we're not going into the knee, we're going into the butt, okay? So I'm gonna act like I'm gonna sit this cheek right down into that massage chair, boom. And we do 25 on one side. Now remember, even my beginners, those side lunges should be getting a little deeper, a little wider, a little stronger each time. All right, so do this, boom, boom, boom. Whee! And when you get to the end of your 25, you come up onto your support leg, and you go into your warrior three. Now maybe you keep your hands on your hips for balance. Maybe you have your hands at heart center. Maybe you're gonna reach them out, but if you reach your arms out, start to take your gaze down to that space right here between the forearms. The hip is square and down. I am not up here in this ballerina hip. I am down here, like I can put my cereal bowl on my back. And you hold this for 30 seconds. And then you come up. You're gonna feel that glute and that hamstring parting sweet ways as we want them to, because we don't want the bathai, we want the bammy, right? Okay. Sorry, I heard that in the fitness industry. I think it's still one of the most absurd things I've heard, but it sticks with people. So if it helps it stick in your mind that we want the rear end to come up and separate from the hamstring, then fine, use it. So then you're gonna do 25 on the other side. Now maybe you're like, why well, really like that alternating thing? That's okay too. If you were alternating, just do left, right one, left, right two, left, right three, and then finish off with a warrior three on each side. But the goal of having all of the lunges on one side first is that we're really stretching this leg. We're making it work kind of passively, right? It's your support leg is holding the anchor as the other leg is going out. We're loading that hip and then we're pushing the floor away. And both of them are pushing the floor away as we stand. And now, like that cheeky warm-up, this hip has been kind of passively doing work, all right? You don't realize it's working as hard as it is. And then when you come up, we're gonna stay at a 25 there, and come up into your warrior. Oh, now all of a sudden you realize just how much work that hip's been doing. This leg's gonna push the floor down. Bend into the knee if you need to. Keep this hip square. Hands to heart center, hands on the hips. Or look, and you hold for 30. You get a little deeper if you can, because I was totally cheating there. Okay, and then after 30 seconds, you come up. You made it through another block. Do your happy dance. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell? It's not even close to Friday yet, people, but I love you. Great glute challenge. See you next week.